everyone, this video will cover the bare basics of HTML. As you can see, the code is on the left side of the screen and the result is on the right side of the screen. Before we get into all of that code, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is used for web design. At the top of the page, we have this, which is an HTML declaration. This does not appear on your design and is only for the purposes of the browser to know what it is. Below that, we have an HTML element in which everything else will go. Elements use these symbols and have opening tags like this and closing tags like this. All other content will be nested inside of this HTML element. Just inside the HTML opening tag, we have a head element. Inside of the head element, put a title element with the title. This also doesn't show up on the actual design, but will show up for the browser and on the name so people know what website that they are on. And inside, also inside of the head element goes a self-closing meta element with an attribute char set equals UTF-8, which is very standard for HTML documents. We have another meta element for the display size. By the way, when you do this in the opening tags of an element, it is called an attribute. So we put a char set attribute for the meta element. You can also put classes into the opening tags of elements, which uses the same syntax. In the opening tag, you put the name of the, you put class equals, you use quotation marks and put the value. Now, below the head element, we will put a body element. This is where all of the content that will actually show up on your design goes. As you can see, first we have an H1 element with the text, hello world. Text goes between the opening and closing tags of an element. The text hello world appears on the design. Next, we have a self-closing IMG element. Self-closing as in we don't need to put a closing tag after it. To put an image, create an IMG element. Inside, put an SRC source attribute with the link to the image you are trying to add. Be sure to use quotation marks around the link. Then, after that, you can add an alt attribute for accessibility. Also, use quotation marks around the alt value. Below that, we have a P element or paragraph element with the text, this is a paragraph. And we can see this on the design as well. As you might guess, this is used for paragraphs of text. Below that, we have a link. To make text into a link, use A or anchor elements. Put an opening A tag with the href attribute to the link you want. So in this case, we have href equals, use quotation marks and put the link that you want the user to go to. And then put the closing tag. Between the tags, you can put the text that you want to be clickable. So in this case, this text is clickable to the link that I have in my href attribute. Alright, be below that, we use another element called a div element in which to put the remaining contents. Inside, we have an input element with a type attribute of text and a placeholder attribute of text here. As you can see, I can type into this field. Then we have a button element with the text click me. Finally, below the div element, we have a style element. This is useful for styling your web page with fonts, colors, etc. For now, we will just practice using element selectors. To do this, you put the name of the element you wish to style, use these brackets, and inside put the property name and its value. In this case, I have selected the body and utilized three properties. Background color, color, which is for font, and font size. I created another selector for the P element and just used the font size property. But that's the syntax you use for all of them. You put the name of the property, you use the curly brackets, and then you use whatever property you want to adjust. There can be font family for the type of font, font size for the font size, which you use in pixels, um, color for font color. So that is useful for design, especially. Also, as you might have noticed, you can create things in HTML called comments, which use this syntax. You use these angle brackets, an exclamation point, two dashes, put the comment, and then use two more dashes, and then this symbol. Um, this does not show up on your design either. This is just for the purpose of programmers. You know, you can put, you know, what you've done or what code means what, basically. All right, and I believe that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I would appreciate any feedback, and I will see you next time. Bye.